for someone to say, yeah, man, it's dropping. This thing is not dropping. It's just doing this correction, you know. It's going to move sideways until we break the level, but then um, we're going to go high. So I don't really go to the M5s, but then uh, even on the M5s, the same thing will happen. The same thing will happen because if you can check the M5, um, we did break that level again, you see. We broke the level. It's just level after level, level after level. Understand on the M5, we're having something like this. I want to show you the level which we broke. We broke the previous level. This was a level. You understand? We broke that level. It went up. It came to that level. You see, it broke that level. It came to that level just to show it's continuing. So that's how I see <coughs> Nasdaq. I don't know if go, you have... Go, go, go back to the daily time frame again. Remove everything. Okay, see, what I've noticed with Nasdaq and DXY, there is a relationship between Nasdaq and the dollar index. DXY? Yeah. When DXY is dropping, Nasdaq is buying. When DXY is buying, uh, or I wouldn't say uh, Nasdaq, but uh, the indices, most of them... They, okay, they, before, they, before I go, let me see something. Oh, okay, now I'm in the DXY. You see, uh, DXY uh, was 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 buying. So, uh, I think two weeks ago, or two week before, I was buying, so, and then Nasdaq dropped. Now, what you're saying is that uh, will will DXY drop or will DXY buy? Yeah, this is something that I have uh, discovered. Yeah. I'm asking if it will buy or sell. Yes, and I don't want to correct. Now, Maragiri, on the lowest low, you see how we have it, and then on the highest height we have these. They didn't break that level. Okay, market nature, ne? Market says we have to move in an impulse. After an impulse, we're going to have a what? A correction. So there was a large impulse. These, it's about to form a what? It's about to form a bigger correction. This is going to be a correction. I had it last week. It's even there on my Instagram. You see, so here we're going to be having a what? A correction. And on this correction, we can come here. Okay, we can come here on the correction. You see, we come here after coming there. Total overall structure of this thing is bullish. We have to reach what we have to reach the 90%, which is where, which is there. So if you can check, it's impulse, correction, and impulse. This is like simple and basics. Yeah. I want to know, man. Let me see how I, This is how we have it. Double, double top. And if you check, yeah, we can sell on the double top. If you can check here yeah, again, we have a break on that thing. Understand? So now we went up because of what? Because of that break. So after that break, now we have to have a what? A correctional phase. After the correctional phase, that's when I can say a lot about DXY. Yeah, for now, it's about to complete that thing. If you can check on it. Even we have to go to the one hour so you can see everything clearly. On the one hour... It is the way you say it will do. We understand it's dropping on the one hour. But then this yeah. not a what this is not a drop which we can be proud of. You understand? Because it just has to feel what it just has to feel this correction here. After it's done with the correction, then okay, Habib, we're gonna go up. Total overall structure for investors is a buy. You understand? To the investors who were in, they're looking for buys. You understand? If you can check it, yeah, we're gonna come here, then we're gonna go up. That's how we're gonna be having it. You see how uh, how DXY closed. You see on Nasdaq it closed bullish on Nasdaq. DXY closed bearish. So that it proves that uh, negative correlation with uh, indices and dollar index. Okay. And if you can uh, just go to the, uh, the to the daily time frame or the weekly time frame, and then you will see that. Um, when the during the coronavirus effect, DXY went up and dropped. It all started there. That's yeah, why I the discovered that there is a negative a correlation with DXY and indices. Is it, is it, is it all indices or certain indices? Because that's like mm. a new change. Sometimes it move the same way. Are you seeing yeah, the correlation so, thing, eh? with the correlation thing, sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not. Yeah, because you see, correlation. The only yeah. way to prove the, the only way to prove correlation is technical. To prove te uh, correlation technical. That is how I proved uh, te uh, correlation by uh, by the technical analysis. 
You can see the, the XY went up right now, and then it's gonna drop and 